When most people think of the rival of Naruto Uzumaki, they immediately think of Sasuke Uchiha, and for really good reason, Sasuke is really powerful. Sasuke, for a majority of the series, always appeared to be one step ahead of Naruto, though Naruto rapidly closed the gap with each new arc in the series, and at times he was even implied to have surpassed Sasuke, only for Sasuke to then turn around and get a new power up. It was something purposely done by Kishimoto, going so far as to make it obvious in the manga and in the first three data books that Naruto is still a couple of steps behind Sasuke for a majority of the series. All of that changed when Naruto got Sage Mode where it was implied that he had finally surpassed Sasuke in terms of power. However, there is one rival of Naruto Uzumaki who has quietly been making progress throughout the years and gets overlooked by fans. His name is Sarutobi Konohamaru, who chronologically in the manga was actually Naruto's first rival. In today's video, I want to explain to you guys why Konohamaru Sarutobi versus the 7th Hokage, Naruto Uzumaki, needs to happen at some point in the Boruto series. Now, I know some of you all are already typing on the keyboard that I'm absolutely crazy for calling Konohamaru Naruto's first rival, and I can already picture the comments. <laughs> you don't watch Naruto, you fucking idiot. Don't you understand? Sasuke was Naruto's first rival. They were making the clone jutsu in the first episode together, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I challenge all of you guys who nutted up a bit too soon to rewind the video and listen Listen a little closer for the word chronological. Technically, we weren't introduced to Sasuke until chapter 3 of the manga, whereas Konohamaru declaring his rivalry with Naruto happened one chapter earlier in chapter 2. In that chapter, Konohamaru declares to Naruto that he will one day fight him for the title of Hokage, to which Naruto gives him a smile, quietly accepting the challenge. While Konohamaru isn't Naruto's main rival in the series, he is the first one to ignore acknowledged Naruto as a rival until certain retcons were made later on in the story. However, as we all know, the fight between Naruto and Konohamaru hasn't happened officially yet. The closest we got was during the tune-in exams OVA for the Naruto Shippuden movie Blood Prison, where we saw Konohamaru fight against Naruto, who was suppressed and yet still caught off guard by Konohamaru, who was using the various ninjutsu that Asuma and his uh, grandfather, the third Hokage, were famous for using. We even get this really cool scene where Naruto and Kon Konohamaru make a bajillion shadow clones and they start flying through the air where Konohamaru has his Rasengan charged up for the fight. You see a bunch of explosions, you see a bunch of smoke and it's just complete and utter chaos. The fight ends with Naruto finally going into Sage Mode after Konohamaru lands a hit on him which then leads to a very comical scene of Sakura throwing a shoe at Naruto for being a bumbling idiot who got himself disqualified for breaking the rules and not using Sage Mode during the fight. Ever since that moment, we haven't seen these two locked fists ever again. While it's very easy to dismiss Konohamaru as being too weak to fight Naruto, I would disagree to an extent. Kishimoto has made it a point to highlight Konohamaru's growth, most notably in the pain arc of the Naruto manga, where he actually manages to take down one of the paths of pain, which back then was a pretty big deal. It wasn't much, but it was enough to show the growth of the young Ganin. After Naruto ended, Kishimoto released Data Book 4, meant to fill in a lot of the enormous gaps and plot holes that were left in the Naruto series, as well as give updated rankings of character power and explain the mechanics of the jutsu that the manga dropped the ball when it came to explaining them. When it came to Konohamaru, we learned that during the events of Data Book 4, which spans from volume 44 of the series, which for you anime only viewers, starts from the moment that Naruto learns of Jiraiya's death and ends with the end of the series. Konohamaru had added wind and fire release to his arsenal of ninjutsu before becoming a chunin. Since 
Becoming the Jonin leader of Team 7, Konohamaru has also picked up Lightning Release, giving him three changes in chakra nature. Naruto's battle with Konohamaru needs to happen. It's the original promise that was never kept. While it would be cool to see Naruto agree to step down if Konohamaru beats him in a sparring match, let's be real, that shit won't ever happen. However, Naruto vs Konohamaru could bear fruit in another way when you look at it. I'll be blunt. Konohamaru so far, at least in the anime, has been a huge disappointment. He struggled against a white Zetsu. Though, to be fair, it was a mutated one, and he did have Team 7 to worry about, so it could be safe to say that he was fighting with a bit of a handicap. However, we've never really seen Konohamaru go all out in a fight. Seeing Konohamaru spar with Naruto in a real fight would allow us to get a real gauge of Konohamaru's power and see where he scales in the Naruto universe. Sure, the Boruto manga is starting to redeem his character as seen with the Konohamaru vs Kashin Koji fight where Konohamaru uses a few ceiling ninjutsu and actually gets praise from Kashin Koji. However, for the most part, Konohamaru's character is less Kakashi from part 1 and more of a a letdown. He isn't as bad as Tintin, who it should be noted was defeated off panel in the manga by Tamari, but it isn't quite what a lot of fans hope for for the sensei of the children for Naruto, Sasuke, and Orochimaru. So, what did you guys think? Do you feel that Konohamaru versus Naruto needs to happen in some capacity in the series going forward? Let me know down in the comment section. And as always, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video, guys. Have an awesome day.